Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another strength building session. You can check out other strength building sessions in this playlist up here. These videos are segmented into either strength building or muscle building. So if you're brand new to Olympic weightlifting, I recommend jumping on either a six to eight week cycle of either one. It doesn't really matter where you start. The most important part is you cycle off one and into the other one. The videos are segmented into days of the week so you can pretty much start off wherever you want and have fun with it, man. I'll see you guys in the video. All right, boys, that got pretty spicy today. I wasn't planning on doing a CrossFit workout of the day. Here we are with a warm up, some power snatches. We actually did five power snatches in a 10 minute EMOM. These actually got pretty spicy, bro. Like I started off doing 115 and at about round six, I downgraded to the 95 pounds that you guys see right over there. Spicy stuff, man. Cooking with Denancy right there. This is five rounds on the wad, eight shuttle sprints. We did our shuttle sprints right here. Boom, all the way to the other one. And then we came back and did eight burpee box jump overs. I didn't even record any of it, man, because I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't planning on doing the workout for today. It's just the fact that normally we have more than just one student or two students. And so if in fact someone comes in and they're by themselves, I normally, as the coach, do the workout with them because you come in and do a CrossFit workout. I mean, it sucks if you have to do the workout by yourself. Normally there's about five or six, sometimes 10 people that come in for this morning class. But this morning we just had one walk-in, one visitor coming in from Korea. So like I said, I just decided to do the workout with them. I'm chilling, we're about to take a walk real quick after the workout. One thing I wanted to do was even after the workout for today, I wanted to see how much I could snatch. So not necessarily a one rep max, but just a one rep, how heavy can I go after a metabolic conditioning session? My max snatch is about 220, 225, shh, don't tell anyone. And so after a Metcon, how much do you guys think I'll be able to lift? This should be pretty interesting. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to get up anything more than 185, but we'll see. As promised from last video, I'll start sharing some nuggets with you guys when it comes to making better videos for your workout sessions. One good way to do that is to not waste any money buying all types of different cameras, but to just utilize the cameras that you already have. The cell phone is a good place to start because everyone has a cell phone. The key thing is when doing any talking headpieces on your cell phone is to ensure that you're using some sort of external microphone like this Purple Panda lavalier mic. No, I'm not sponsored by fucking Purple Panda lavalier microphones. It just happens to be the one that I got. It's the one I've been using for about five years now and it sounds pretty good. That's all the filmmaking tricks I'm gonna give you in this video. So let's get to these snatches. If you gave me the barbell and said, hey, load up however much weight that you can load up on the barbell, but you have to get two out of three lifts on the snatch. The weight that I wouldn't choose would be 185. I say that to say that I'm pretty happy that we were able to lift 185 in lieu of the Metcon that we did today, which pretty much destroyed me. We were doing a 10 minute EMOM every minute. We were doing five power snatches at 115. I lowered it from 115 at I think the sixth round and on the seventh, eighth and ninth and 10th round, I did 95 pound snatches. We talked about that earlier. And so 50 power snatches essentially going into a Metcon. The shuttle sprints, the burpee box jump overs went into a little cool down, got some fresh air. And the thing I'm taking away from today is the fact that I should always, always set a realistic expectation for myself when it comes to doing any of the lifts. I mean, at the beginning, take into account everything that I've done, not only throughout the week, but everything that I'm doing throughout the day, compounding that into a more realistic, more educated expectation of what I should be able to lift for today or whatever day I'm planning to do the lift. So for example, after the Metcon, after the heavy session that I did Saturday and Monday, which was yesterday, today's Tuesday, taking those two things into account, I now move into what I should be expecting to lift on this one rep heavy max snatch that I'm doing after the Metcon. So right away, I already know I shouldn't be expecting to lift 215, 225, 230. I told myself that I was gonna lift 185 and be happy with that. That's a good realistic weight to hit after a Metcon for today, after some heavy weight lifting on this weekend. Warmed up with 95, 
worked my way up to 135 and I believe 165 as well. All of those weights still felt pretty strong actually. It felt like I still had some legs up underneath me. Had some issues lifting the 185. I believe it took me twice or maybe even three times to actually get it up. And then after I started lifting the 185, I was able to get the 185 up consistently after that. But in any case, even when I put on 185 and I'm only doing snatches, minus the Metcon that I did for today, I would still run into a little bit more issues snatching 185, even if I was doing just only snatches for the day. And so the fact that I was only missing it twice and then able to lift it after that, after the Metcon, hey man, that lets me know that I could come away with a win. I set that realistic expectation for myself on the front end. If I hadn't done that, I probably would subconsciously be expecting myself to lift something like 215, 220, trying to max out like I always do. And then the fact is I probably would have only been able to lift 185. And then I would have left the gym today feeling down and depressed because I felt like I failed for the day. Instead, I could leave the gym with a win.